All right, we're gonna be talking about inherited traits and learned behaviors. So you're going to get this page. We're going to glue it on the back and just stick it in on the next page after your adaptation notes. So when we're talking about adaptations, adaptations are characteristics that help an animal or plant survive. Now there are different kinds of adaptations. We have a structure adaptation, which is something that is an organ. And we also have the functions of these structures. We also have behaviors, learned behaviors, and inherited traits. Now, what are those? An inherited trait is defined as a characteristic that is passed from parents to the offspring. So basically, it's a characteristic that you get from mom or dad. Now, what are some examples of that? Some examples of that could be eye color, skin color, facial features, like size of nose, sizes of ears, shapes of ears, hair color, hair texture, if it's curly, straight, your height, and also medical conditions. There are a lot of medical conditions that are genetic, meaning that you inherit them from a family member, mostly a parent. So those are inherited traits, something that you get from your parents. Pause that, take the notes, and then come back. Okay. The next one, we're going to go to this page next, okay? Examples of actually a learned behavior, we're going to go right here, is a defined behavior that develops from observation or instruction rather than being passed down from your parents. So in other words, it's something that you learn, it's not something you're born with. Some examples might be um, an attitude about something or having an attitude, biting someone could be a learned behavior. You learn how to swim, cooking, running, talking, any sport. Some people have natural abilities for sports, but they still have to learn how to do it. Walking, reading, riding a bike. Anything that you learn how to do or you need to practice is a learned behavior. So what we're gonna do over here is I'm gonna give you um, an animal and then we're going to do something for you. So an animal, let's do a lion. A lion's inherited trait would be the color of its fur. A learned behavior that they would have to learn how to do is hunting. They don't have, they have some natural instincts, but they don't know how to actually hunt. Their mom has to teach them how to do it. Here's a plant. Sunflower. Okay. The color of the petals is inherited from the seed, which is produced by the parent flower. An alert behavior could be, this is actually not a learned behavior, it is an instinct. An instinct to, which is a behavior that you kind of know how to do already. So the sunflower doesn't have to learn how to turn toward the sun. It has an instinct, automatically does it, okay? Now I'm gonna give you some examples from me, okay? In my inherited traits, my eye color, I got from my mom. My height, I actually got from both parents because they are shorter. My son's height, he got from his dad because they're both tall. Learned behaviors could be how to be respectful, how um, I learned how to 
I learned how to teach in college. I learned how to walk. I learned how to do a lot of things, but there are three examples. Some behaviors I want to learn. I want to learn. I want, let me see. What do I want to learn? I want to learn another language. How to speak another language. I'm not sure which one. That'll be something I want to learn. So those are inherited traits and learned behaviors.